Today, on the 29th of October, Joy Kim Nursery in Primary School Kumi held a dedication and a graduation service for its primary seven living pupils. The service was presided by the Most Reverend Bishop Michael Esakan, who prayed for the candidates and spoke words of advice to the pupils. And self discipline, self belief, on hard work. Parents and guardians who were not allowed into the school to attend this activity due to following a government order to prevent the spread of Ebola. Where parents who wanted to follow and watch along were watching and followed online through Emory TV platforms. Neighboring schools were also invited who spoke to the pupils in what to expect forth. Memoria TV spoke to some of the candidates and this is what they had to say. Hi, I'm fine. My name is Sino Tuvia Nomiat. I guess I'm pretty excited. And it has been a, a really a tough struggle for me since you no know, baby class. Now I'm finishing primary and I get blessed especially by the bishop. It's like a life experience that I'm not going to be able to forget. And I, I don't think I'm going to be able to forget this in my lifetime. Well, I just want to inform them that this year it's going to be a stiff struggle. So you better revise and just know that you have a competitor and that's me. Thank you. I'm Koyimo Rodrik from Primary School. Great. So it has a big experience to have a bishop, educators. Normally we always have a, our chaplain. We feel, there's a feeling when you get when somebody prays for you like that because we're now feeling special. Because when a bishop prays for you like that, it has given you a blessing, which means the people are going to come with us simple. First, I would like to thank them for enabling us to be here. They have, they have struggled a lot to push us here. They have paid our school fees. They have gone through a lot to send us here. Then I would also like to promise them that, as, as the candidates here, we are promising you good performance. The teacher also told our reporters that the pupils were ready for this exam, even amidst the challenges that they faced together with the nation recently. Pascal Boga, head teacher Joy Kim Christian primary and nursery school. We, we got a, a letter from the uh, ministry instructing us not to allow any more visits by parents to school to protect the children from the prevailing Ebola uh, pandemic. And that's the reason we had to conduct it without our parents. However, we had planned it uh, that uh, we could have our parents towards these last days to pray together with their children and maybe give them the last, uh, the last word. Our candidates are well prepared. What a lot of challenges after COVID. Uh, there were gaps in the syllabus coverage, looking at the period that was missed during the lockdown, and the short uh, periods that were allocated to cover the syllabus in the previous classes. But within our system, we tried to exploit those other areas where we could get time and also a technical approach to the syllabus in a way that could make us achieve what we wanted, make children able to understand, comprehend the content, and be able to do their PLOE successfully. Our children are well prepared, the syllabus is well covered, they are ready to pass. very much our viewers out there today has been an amazing day we've been streaming live from joy kim and uh, today has been a powerful day the bishop of kumi diocese has been dedicating these wonderful ladies and gentlemen to be of uh, our great nation and it's been wonderful having you to watch us all live and it's just beautiful to be here at joy kim and uh, as emuria tv and the parents out there want to say Congratulations to all these candidates and want to wish you success in your upcoming exams. Yeah. For MWR TV, Paul Lopezen reporting.